Hello and welcome and uh, today I've got this vehicle here to show you the Globe Trail Ford 590C. It has a very unusual washroom layout. This is really odd uh, but anyway when you see it you can write down what you think of it. I shall withhold my opinion until I've, you've actually seen it. Six meter long Ford. I really like the Ford as a base for the vehicle because what it gives you is this extra height 278 centimeters in height so you've got about 9 10 centimeters over the Fiat Ducato I do appreciate that's gonna mean it's gonna burn more fuel a little bit more but it will be uh, it will be some uh, it's also slightly wider at 206 centimeters than the Ducato this vehicle uh, will uh, sleep uh, up to three. I mean, uh, I think really it's a two-person van. Let's have a look at it inside. So the cost is getting on for seventy thousand, almost seventy thousand, sixty-eight thousand six hundred and eighty-one. And so what we've got to start off with is this magnificent amount of standing height. And okay, so it's a camper van, you look at it like this, it looks more or less standard, but it does, the extra space really does stand out at the back, allowing these uh, drawers and like this, which you, you know, when you've got it in the Fiat Ducato, it is really, it seems really, really uh, cramped. Uh, but this really does give lots of extra space. This one here, we've got the fly net up. We'll have a look at that from the back, which is quite clever. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm coming on to the layout of these uh, cushions. There you see, separate, one there, one there, two at the, one at the back, sorry. Single cushion, single cushion. And let's come over here, cushion. So you've got all of these cushions. This is the, washroom space what is this all about well it does look a bit illogical so this is what it looks like when you've got the bed in use as a bed right now what i'm going to do uh we're going to have a look at the one in true television style that i did earlier because if i did it i can't do it by myself i'm going to take you into into this vehicle here and this shows what it comes out like. This is, in a six meter van, an enormously large shower. I'm gonna get into the shower, I'm gonna turn the thing around. So there's me in the shower. And so I've got this huge amount of space, So I'll let you show my upper here, I've gotta come forward, we've got space this way, space up here, lots and lots and lots of space in the shower there's the toilet there's the sink what do you think of that right how do you get this space you'd get this space by put, taking one of the beds up you see so the bed comes up via this plate that's why there were all those uh, cushions uh, mattresses uh, whatever and this will push out right to here now i appreciate that i often say well it depends what you're looking for i can uh, you know if you want something which may seem a bit odd then uh, i do appreciate things like that I did say I withhold on my no i'm gonna withhold on my opinion completely i think the tone of my voice should make it quite clear when i think of this one um I'd also point out that, you know, the more moving parts you get, particularly in things you use every day, uh, really is the chance of something going wrong. And uh, anyway, we've got the, the batteries internal there and here, have a look down there, there's your, um, oh, bit of storage. So the shelf, shelf really should be there. And that's for the uh, that's for the sink. The uh, I've forgotten the proper name for that. Like the whatever it is, that bit the stick the sink that sticks down. I've forgotten the name for it. Never mind. There you go. So this kitchen's quite normal, and uh, the washroom isn't. Uh, got extension there for the 
um, for, the, for the kitchen and fridge is across from which I think I showed you earlier anyway so right uh, as you can see I'm absolutely amazed by this this washroom uh, it comes with the, uh, the sliding door and at the back which I will demonstrate if I can this bit here I don't even see that this bit here comes at slides slides across to probably takes two hands to do it uh, that or it's already broken who knows um, to uh, to form a back down there here yeah, we'll go into the other one because the lighting's better in here I turned all the lighting on here as well yeah, it appears to be I'll turn the lighting off just to demonstrate you see I turned the light yeah lighting on and uh, oh, maybe this is it ah maybe Whatever, I'll go, we'll go into the other one and have a look at that. <clears throat> so we'll come to the back and we'll see this. Excellent uh, to have something like this. The fly net and the mosquitiera, <clears throat> essential in my opinion. Maybe we can take it up and see what it's like uh, below. So here we've got the gas and uh, this thing here will I believe slide out as well as an option and so you've got some storage down there and storage on the other side as well now it is a whoops and there's everything's just fallen down but never mind I'll uh, somebody put that up back up later there we have the um, for the uh, the toilet the, the cassette, the boiler, and now I'm gonna go back inside. So we'll have another look at what it really looks like from down here. There, now you know what's happening. Here you've got the back for it. You've got the sliding door. And uh, what do you think of that? Quite honest. No, no, I said I wasn't going to say, I'm not going to say my opinion. I'm not going to say my opinion. I'll leave it for you to uh, say your opinion. And this thing also, also opens somehow. Anyway. That seems to be, but it opens, you have to, have to believe me on that one. Good. Um, I've given you a, a brief look over that. And so, the, it does say uh, what the plus points are. The plus points are there, and I do think um, 194 centimeter standing height in the shower is a plus point. Um, it might be all right for washing the dog, but other than that, I'm not going to say my opinion. There we go. We've got some more uh, plus points up there as well. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you find that interesting. As you can see, it says up there, new, and it is indeed new. I think the transit's great for building with for the height it gives, for the extra storage possibility it gives. But uh, anyway, uh, for the moment, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and all the best from me in Stuttgart.